Okay guys, here it is. Welcome to the personal property tour for 18 Acorn Court in Celadike. It's an amazing three bedroom, semi-detached villa, finished an extremely high standard. It has an ensuite shower room as well off the main master bedroom and it also has a dining kitchen as well. Off street parking to the side and potential to build a garage there. It is perfect. Wait till you see the back garden. First of all, just so you know where cell this is in, in relation to everything, I'll just pop around the camera. So right down the bottom of there is access to the beach, uh, along to the Cellar Dyke Harbour. You can go along to the Antrim the Harbour. You've got the open water swimming. Uh, to the left-hand side, you can go along at the Cellar Dyke Tidal Pool. You can also go back along to the right-hand side, along to Shore Street in Antrim for all the cafes, bistros, restaurants, and all the amenities. Great secondary school and primary school as well, which has added value to this as a perfect family home. Welcome to God's country. Let me take you on the tour around this property and tell you all about it. So here we are at the front here. Uh, now you've got the drive to the side, and as I said, it's easy enough to put a garage in there if you really want it. Um, then you've got a low maintenance front garden. Blue skies, the sun is on this most of the day, not at the front and the back, at some time, all the time during the day. So at the front, it goes up in the morning, it's all on the front, and then to the afternoon and evening, it's all at the rear. So as I say, we've got access into here, through the front door. The first thing you see when you come in here, nice welcoming hallway, but you've also got that storage to the side in these, in these cupboards. There's one thing about this property that has, it's plenty of storage. We're gonna go upstairs first and look at there. So let's pop upstairs and see the three bedrooms and the bathrooms up here as well. You do have a WC downstairs and we'll go through that in a minute when we, when we pop back down from here. So here's the bathroom. You can see it's finished a really good standard. Easy enough, it does have a shower attachment there, but probably easy enough to put a shower over the bath if you really want it. You do have an ensuite shower room though. Remember that. So you've got your close couple WC, your inset sink, and your bath with shower attachment. Your master bedroom. Now this bed actually looks a lot bigger than a normal double bed, so it is pretty big. Looks like a queen, possibly a king. So, double bedroom, master bedroom. We sneak peek out the back. Let you see that. Here's the home office potentially. I'll tell you all about that when we get out there. You've even got a cupboard for storage, for hanging clothes and storing shoes. You've got your ensuite shower room to the side here. Again, finished a really nice standard. Uh, round the corner, you've got the shower, an electric shower, enclosure. That looks a metre by a metre rather than your standard 700. It's a metre, so it's a nice good sized shower. So I'm sure you'd agree, beautiful bedroom. Access to the roof space via the hatch there, which is good for storage again. But then you've also got a cupboard upstairs for this. And then you've got a good size single bedroom here. Although, to be honest, just to give you perspective, you can easily fit a double bed across there at the bottom and still have space. You could possibly use that for your clothes if you want to really adapt it to that purpose. So it does have good potential for, you, for here. Uh, home office could be outside, um, so you do, you're able to recover this room for a bedroom rather than actually home office. I'll tell you about that in a minute once we get out there. So double bedroom, the final one to the front of the house. Again, these inbuilt wardrobes, which are ideal for storage. Give you a wee look outside, show you. Now the great thing I like about this, we're not too close to each other, we're not jam-packed in. Everybody's plenty of space away from the road itself. Not really too enclosed to each other. That's what I like so much about this development. Then off back into the upper hall. Let's pop downstairs and have a look at the living room next. So, good sized living room, plenty of space in here, that's a big couch in there. And then off to the front, I'm sure you agree, really good size for a living room. There's double windows to the front, 
bringing in a lot of natural light. I love these doors and these chrome handles. Just love everything about the finishings in here. And then there's storage. There's a storage cupboard under here. And then off to the left hand side here we've got the WC. I have a sneak suspicion this is barrier free. In other words it's wheelchair accessible at the downstairs through all the doorways. Because of the width. So WC downstairs. And then off into the dining kitchen. So, really good sized dining kitchen. You can see there plenty of activity space for the worktops. Your boilers in that cupboard there. And you've got storage below, space for your under counter white goods and your oven, hob and extractor. Then again, space for fridge freezer. Dining table can go over here quite comfortably. Now that's a four seater, you can see there, but I think you could possibly fit a six seater in quite comfortably there as well. And then you've got the patio doors leading out to the rear, and you know, we'll go out there in a minute. So as you can see, again, a well-finished kitchen, good size. And then off outside your patio doors, this is what I like most about this house as well. There's nothing, oh, I love this house. Look at this, these blue skies. Now, beautiful, low maintenance, which is a big appeal to me, back garden. Perfectly positioned for sitting in the sun all day long. Now that is actually power and light into there. That's all been put in there by a contractor. Um, so you can easily adapt that to a home office. Uh, and it has got a doorway in between these two. So you can have separate for something and then you can have a wee home office another one and you can open it right up inside. But I mean, share a degree, beautiful back garden. Sunshine is a huge advantage here. And then around to the side, this is where I said you could possibly put a garage in there if you want. As we come to the rear, you'll see more of the back of the property here. As we go right into the bottom corner. And here, this is a real good sized plot and good sized property. Okay, so let's just recap. We'll so, three bedroom semi-detached villa, finished at high standard, you know where it is, I said at the beginning, easy access down the bottom to the Fife Coastal Path, along to the Cellar Dyke Harbour, along to the Antro the Harbour the other way, open water tidal pools at Cellar Dyke as well, which is ideal for open water swimming, and then you've got also back along into Antro into Shore Street, you've got all the amenities, pubs and restaurants and, uh, and bistros and bars, it's ideal, perfect lifestyle living, great primary school, uh, fantastic secondary school. Wade is a really good top performing school in Fife. Um, so what more could you ask for for perfect family living? If you want more details, there's click on the link in this post. You'll get more details for the photographs and the descriptions itself. If you need to contact us, you can call us on 01333 421774 or you can message us direct on this post for further details. And until next time, guys, from God's country, I'm Jim Parker for Fife Properties TV.